Digimon Soul Chaser, a smartphone video game developed by the South Korean division of Bandai Namco, has released a teaser video for its fourth season. The video is accompanied by the captivating text, Do you still remember? A friend who stayed by my side in an unfamiliar world. Would you like to reminisce with me? Our story begins again, Digimon Soul, Chaser Season 4. Pre-registrations for the upcoming season are currently open. The trailer for Digimon Soul Chaser Season 4 has been recently released, along with many other details about the latest season of this South Korean game. Interestingly, the Digimon sprites seen in the game's art are rumoured to be inspired by a fan artist, although they are simplified versions of the original sprites. The characteristic rounded style of these sprites is quite notable. Um, this game has been through many hands and iterations, featuring both male and female versions of the protagonists. Both characters sport the iconic goggles commonly worn by protagonists in the Digimon series. As for other noteworthy events, we celebrated the 14th anniversary of Digimon Cross Wars on July 6th. Toei Animation and other international official social media accounts acknowledge this milestone, asking fans about their favourite moments from the series. What's yours? As for me, I know it's not a moment, but I have to say, Bielsmon Blast Mode 2010 version. I'll leave it at that. Next up was Anime Expo, held from July 4th to 7th in Los Angeles, where a dedicated Digimon booth featured merchandise and more. The Digimon Adventure 25th anniversary trailer is set to make its grand debut on the massive screen at Alta Vision situated at Shinjuku Station's east exit on August 1st at 5pm. This premiere comes just a few hours before the trailer's airing during the special Odaiba version of the movie Double Feature. The screening broadcast is scheduled to last for 10 minutes, though it remains unclear if this duration is solely for the trailer or includes additional content. Alta Vision's giant screen at Shinjuku Alta is renowned for its prominence, making it a popular meeting spot and an ideal location for premieres. The Odaiba Grand Gathering special screening will showcase the Digimon Adventure 25th anniversary trailer, accompanied by the iconic song Butterfly. The event will feature a lineup of guest appearances, a YouTube broadcast and screenings of Digimon Adventure Our War Game and Digimon Adventure Zero Two Hurricane Touchdown. Uh, among the guests scheduled to appear at the event are Chika Sakamoto, the voice actress of Agumon, AIM, the voice actress of Mimi and singer of various Digimon songs, Shintaro Matsui, the producer of numerous Digimon songs, and Hiromi Seiki, the producer of the first Digimon anime series. Attendees of the event will receive exclusive bookmarks designed as film strips from the featured movies, Digimon Adventure, Our War Game, and Digimon Adventure 02, Hurricane Touchdown, while supplies last. On July 14th, new products featuring logos from various parts of the franchise and key art from different anime series will be available at both Annie Birth stores and online at the Digimon Partners Shop starting August 1st. The fourth wave of Digimon Adventure 25th anniversary products includes acrylic logo stands, embroidered keychains, mugs, t-shirts, tote bags, metal keychains, and key visual frame magnets. The limited edition Digital Monster Hype Drop Edition, collaboration between Hype Drop and Digital Monster, has opened pre-orders. To celebrate this collaboration, the 105th vote is now open. In the past, there have been other collaborations with the Digital Monster Crystal Toy series, which are not related to anime products. Which of these collaborations was your favorite or which product caught your eye? Fans can choose one of the six options and cast their vote. Recent updates about the LMO4 Torrid Weiss previews have been announced. This mini set to be sold at various events features many reprinted cards, including Monitormon, Savior Hackmon, and Wanyamon, the latter two with color borders. Additionally, new option cards like Garnet Memory Boost and Wisteria Memory Boost showcase popular Digimon duos, Agumon and Gabumon, and Ludamon and Zubamon from the Legend Arms Group. 
The pioneer test for the upcoming Chinese game Digimon Source Code ended over two weeks ago. The developers received significant feedback and suggestions from players. To keep everyone informed about the game's optimization progress, they released an issue of the Temple Log to address players' questions. The developers are currently working on an encyclopedia feature, which is expected to be available in the next test. This will make browsing through the Digital Monster Encyclopedia more convenient for all players. They have also redesigned the game's sound effects, as they did not perform ideally during the test. Players can expect to experience the improved effects in the next test. Regarding model optimization, the focus will primarily be on lighting rendering for display models and battle models. The large map exploration gameplay has been positively received, and the developers plan to add challenging boss stages to make exploration even more enjoyable. While there were relatively few Digimon in the previous test, not even Rookie Digimon, more will be gradually introduced as game development progresses. Examples of Rookie Digimon that will be added to the game include Piamon and Tailmon. The developers will adjust the usability of certain UI operations and have redesigned some functional UIs. These include the interface for displaying Digimon encountered for the first time in the story and the source code bracelet interface, along with optimizations for full screen adaptation. In the Erlangmon BM story event, the four perils were frequently mentioned. One of these four perils, Hunden, has already made its way into the game in the form of Digiangmon. The four perils are four malevolent creatures from Chinese mythology, serving as antagonistic counterparts to the four benevolent animals, represented by the four holy beasts in the Digimon universe. These creatures are Hunden, a chaotic, faceless creature often depicted as a bear or dog. Chongqi, a creature that embodies distress and strangeness. Taowu, a boar or tiger-like creature symbolizing ignorance. Taoti, a gluttonous creature usually shown as just a head without a body. In the upcoming version of Digimon New Century, several Digimon skills will be adjusted and many core chips will be introduced, which will impact team composition Agumon Bond of Bravery's special skill will no longer have a cooldown time, with the effect skill cooldown per one at three star being removed. Its passive skill will have the effect when Agumon BB leaves all targets banished by it return to the battlefield removed as well. Various other Digimon, such as Omegamon, Chaosmon and others, will receive new effects like reduced AP consumption, damage resistance, increased attack, and critical damage. Demon X is set to make its debut in the Chinese game Digimon New Century, with a special event running from July 18th to August 8th. To acquire Demon X, players will need to obtain two copies of Demon, and as many Demon X pieces as the copy with the highest number of stars. Gravity 7, its normal skill, allows Demon X to attack a single enemy, dealing damage and applying taunt status, forcing the target's next attack to target Demon X. The secret skill, Hellfire, enables Demon X to attack all enemies, inflicting damage and applying burn status and Dark Erosion Mark II targets. Additionally, it applies taunt to the main target and potentially other targets, ignoring resistance. Inferno Explosion, Demon X's special skill, grants the ability to control enemies with burn status, preventing them from acting outside their own turn. Additionally, it reduces the damage increase of targets with Dark Erosion. If a target has both burn and Dark Erosion after an enemy action, Demon X deals damage based on the number of burn layers and true damage based on the target's maximum HP. Uh, Crown of Anger, Demon X's passive skill increases self-effect accuracy at the start for a few turns. When Demon X is on the field with at least one Fire Elemental teammate, it gains Fire Essence. With at least one Dark Elemental teammate, it gains Dark Aura. When both Fire Essence and Dark Aura are active, Demon X gains Crown of Anger upon receiving Fatal Damage. This grants a permanent increase in damage output, significantly boosting its effectiveness in battle. Furthermore, Crown of Anger inflicts burn and dark erosion on all enemies each turn, ignoring resistance until the end of the battle. In addition to its offensive capabilities, 
Demon X is immune to crystallization effects, providing a defensive advantage against certain opponents. 